This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com Do you have a uh, protocol or infrastructure or plan for how you will react if and when the government tries to stop you from doing business there? Well, I, I don't know. We're selling t-shirts. I can't imagine they'd try to stop us. It's been done. Um, contingency plan, you know, I guess we will let people know what's going on and we will, we have video cameras, we have audio recording, we have everything in place to make sure that any kind of interaction is on record and can immediately be broadcast out to to all appropriate parties. And so, you know, I'm ready. You know, one of our part of our contingency plan is not doing anything illegal or immoral. <laughs> so I think that will they'll protect us the most. Well, what is your level of uh, spread in terms of um, Bitcoin adoption? in the area of the shop, which, which is downtown Portsmouth, correct? Downtown Portsmouth. Yeah. It's about a half, a square, half mile, maybe a square mile. And we have nearly two dozen businesses, retail businesses where you can walk in and spend dash or Bitcoin every day on any of their products and services. It is definitely without a doubt, the most densely populated Bitcoin retail space in the world. Yeah, I, I think that, that would make sense. The the um, what is you know what the total number of businesses is in downtown Portsmouth? Well, as far as um, oh the total number of businesses, I don't know, um, but we're we're shooting to have one hundred businesses in in downtown Portsmouth within this year. Okay, the coming year. All right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, financially, how uh, how sustainable do you think this is? Are you guys are in the black yet? How sustainable is the shop? Yeah. Oh, it's um, it's good. I believe we we're, we're about ranking even on uh, on our sales. We only really it's it's a small space. The awesome thing about it is that it's it really brings cryptocurrency um, to the forefront in the town, and it makes it real for people. Now, there's an actual place where you can go learn. And, um, you know, we sell hardware wallets and we need to sell only a couple of those to, to pay the bills. And, um, we, even our, our book sales are pretty good. Our t-shirts it's, so it's paying the bills, which allows us uh, to do more activism and, um, spread more Bitcoin. Uh, oh, you gave me a great idea for a question, which just evaporated. Uh, keep talking if you want. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> well, the um, P Portsmouth is now becoming known by some of the proprietors of the businesses that take Bitcoin as Bitcoin Village. And we've created the world famous Bitcoin tour of Portsmouth where you can spend days only using Bitcoin at different restaurants and entertainment venues. Um, there's breweries, yoga studios, dance, restaurants, um, souvenir shops and uh, workspaces and there's going to be more there will be hotels and and other uh, pr professional services there are there are apartments for rent for bitcoin now and um so i think the the bitcoin economy is really growing in portsmouth and we hope to keep that up one unique thing that took place because of bitcoin village and the shop is even though Bitcoin is an international currency, it can be used all around the world and spent online, business owners who accept Bitcoin are then turning around and spending the Bitcoin they've received at other businesses in town. So Bitcoin has become sort of a local currency in Portsmouth. Yeah, sort of like a downtown dollar that really works. Like there was one in Concord and you probably never heard of it. Yeah, it, it's it's like a hyper hyper local currency that can be used by anyone in the world. Yeah, yeah. And we're getting a lot of people using Dash. Part of the success that we've had here in Bitcoin Village is we we worked hard to create the best point of sale system for Bitcoin and Dash Digital Cash, um, which is 
extremely simple for merchants to adopt and for their employees to use. And it's way simpler than than like uh, BitPay and other solutions because it's peer to peer, and um, we never take custody of any of the funds, and it, so it, it makes it so that a merchant can get set up in in minutes to to take Bitcoin and Dash. Well, now, now, is this an app that you folks developed yourself? That's correct. It's called AnyPay, and it, you can get it at anypay.global. And it's a software that we developed ourselves at, from years of experience of setting people up and, and understanding what is the very best experience for doing retail payments with cryptocurrency. We being you and Derek only? Me and Derek and... Uh, a third engineer on our team. So we have um, three engineers working on this product now. Okay. Now, uh, do you, with regard to like all these unique things that sort of come into play when you've got a, an actual bricks and mortar store, do you have, uh, well, tell me a little bit about your return policies. A return policy? Yeah, for do do you accept returns on some or all of the items that you sell? What is their policy? Is, is... Uh, we don't take returns on hardware wallets that have been opened, um, because we can't ensure that they're they're secure for the next customer. Um, yeah, uh, we don't. We've we've never had anyone want to return an item. I mean, if someone did want to and it wasn't a security issue, uh, what is your policy? We don't have a policy. What would you do? I would be inclined to try and convince them to keep the item. Okay. <laughs> uh, mm. Why do you, why do you ask? What What is the importance of the return policy? Well, uh... I just think of this because I know that I like to be able to shop at a bricks and mortar store because it gives me that option. That's one thing that it ha that's like a total that's a big deal actually that have that a bricks and mortar has over Amazon to me. And so being the only bricks and mortar Bitcoin store, um, I guess I think it I guess it puts you in a unique position of being able to set a return policy. I mean, most people don't return things that are bought online. Okay. But uh, since I've never uh, bought anything from you, I don't. you don't have to worry about me trying to return anything. I think most of the merchandise is so straightforward. I mean, you're buying a book or a t-shirt. You can try the t-shirt on before you buy it. It's, you know, you can see what you're getting. <laughs> but also really, I just, I just buy the it products we sell it. is not really merchandise per se. It is an experience of learning to use cryptocurrency to buy things. Yep. And you can't return that experience. So no one, yeah, like people will buy shirts that don't even fit them just to buy them so that they can say, I got this with Bitcoin. What are you experiencing in terms of like the number of people who enter the store per day? You know, it ranges from between a dozen and a hundred in a day. Okay. And we, we set up people, I mean, we're setting up people with wallets, their first wallet, their a, a better wallet, um, just all, all day, every day, pretty much. And people come in, they get Bitcoin. We have a Bitcoin vending machine on site that is, um, it actually offers under spot price so um you put in a hundred dollars you get a hundred one dollars worth of bitcoin whoa so you now you haven't okay i knew you were at zero percent but you've lowered the price even from there yeah that's right um we first of all we want to make sure that people are using bitcoin and they have the most delightful experience possible like we don't need to make money like uh ripping people off on on uh exchanging money it's best to to expand the Bitcoin economy and help people abandon the dollar and I, and remove any barriers there are to to getting out. Um, it, it's like it seems kind of awful to go up to a sinking ship with lifeboats and then say, like, that's going to be five dollars a piece. I don't know. You get more lifeboats if you charge for lifeboats. 
<laughs> well, let's just say we already had a bunch of lifeboats and we were right there and we also had a bunch of cash and we didn't need to extort these uh, or um, charge these people to get into the lifeboats. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I definitely, I had a situation a couple of weeks ago where I thought, I thought I was going to need to to buy a couple, you know, a, a couple hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. And definitely you guys were at the top of my list as to where I would get it because I heard that you, <laughs> you, were, you were selling it for, for free, but, but a person would actually have to physically be there to buy it. Correct. Of course. Um, we, they have to bring in old federal reserve bills and then they can get Bitcoin right from our machine. Or there's also another machine in Portsmouth about two blocks away at the Seacoast Repertory Theater. And that's open most days, about 20 hours. Uh, can you think of anything else you want to tell me about the shop before I have uh, completely unrelated questions? Yeah, we have meetups every eight days. And it's a great opportunity for people who are new and experienced to come together and ask each other questions and learn something new. And one component that's been really exciting is that every meetup for the past several months, we've been paying with Bitcoin. And every person can bring cryptocurrency and pay their bill. We usually eat dinner together um, or get, just get drinks. And they can pay with Dash or Bitcoin. All right. Uh, so have we, uh, would you say we've, we've exhausted the topics about the store or anything else you want to add? There's a pretty cool conference coming up December 1st here in oh, that, Portsmouth. That be the the next Blockchain Assets right. Conference. BlockchainNH.com yeah, is the website. Was that just Bruce Fenton's idea, or are you guys more starting that? No, that was uh, Bruce Fenton's idea, and I think it's going to bring together a lot of uh, free staters and crypto people from the area, and also from afar. People are traveling to come to Portsmouth, which is now Bitcoin Village. Yeah. <clears throat> One idea I had when I was watching the, Cat <laughs> the Catalonia vote is like, I wonder if I wonder if Bitcoin Village could have its own vote to secede from Portsmouth. Ha. Uh, well, Bitcoin Village, one one great thing about Bit Bitcoin Village is it's not political and it has nothing to do with government. So it's it's really a, an economic revolution, an, an economic change where it's all about leaving the banks and leaving the Fed and... Um, it's simply just that, leaving the Fed. And so in a way, by being part of Bitcoin Village, you are seceding from these existing Fed structures. So there's no there's no need for any kind of political manifesto, in my opinion. But I think it will go it will go a long way to creating a spirit of independence among the people when they realize that even even their financial system isn't tied to to D.C. or New York anymore. I need to step away for a second. Can you two talk amongst yourselves to the benefit of the audience for a few minutes? A few minutes? Yeah. You can do it. I'm, I have confidence in you. No, we got to go. <laughs> really? Okay, all right. Well, I do want to talk about the... Um, uh, uh, the conference... And so why don't we do that in a separate call? Okay. You want to do that in, right. in like a week or two? Yeah, that works. Okay, great. All right. How'd you Thanks, get connected guys. with um, Alan, by the way? Oh, you did, you say? How'd you get connected with um, Port, Port City Coins? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, for the viewers, Derek's referring to um, one of one of my new advertisers. Yeah, he just uh, just emailed me one day or messaged me and uh, wanted to buy an ad. That's awesome. Yeah, so that will be, a, I guess, another question I should ask is how you think maybe the the whole I, he's a, he's a he sells gold and silver, so there may be some it may it may be interesting to see how um, you guys can complement each other. Is he in is he in downtown Portsmouth? 
Uh, no, he's not downtown. He's a little further away, but... Um, I would love for him to take cryptocurrency at his store. He, you know, he's been open to it before, and he wanted to have a Bitcoin vending machine there, but I think the best thing would be for him to just take Bitcoin for gold and silver. Yeah, I've been to his shop several times, always had a great experience. So I was Good. really excited to see that he's one of your new advertisers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he paid in gold, and uh, that's, uh, you know, that's the more competing currencies that we've got, the better. Uh, and I, I don't really know how gold and crypto can cooperate, but this may be the place where we find out. Yeah, it's really exciting. So cool. I look forward to uh, chatting with you about the conference that's happening in just a few weeks. Okay, good. Thanks for your time, guys. Hey, thank you. See you, Dave. All right. Take care. Peace. Peace out. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your metals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, Port City Coin dot com